May you state for the record how you came to know Mr. Shepherd Tundee? Um, uh, it was late August, early September last year. Um, I was on holiday and I was repeatedly telephoned. Uh, it was actually over a weekend uh, by Mr. Tundia. Mr. Shepherd Tundia said that um, he was the brother of a friend of mine called Oliver Rugube. Oliver Rugube owns Olicad Engineering in Kwekwe. Uh, 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 Olicad uh, Oli, Oli Engineering are a subcontractor of ours and have worked with, uh, with us on many projects. And um, uh, he, he, he said he was uh, Oliver Rugube's brother and uh, he'd been recommended to me by Oliver Rugube. Um, he explained that, should I carry on now? He, uh, Mr. Tudia explained to me over the telephone that he had been dispatched to Wanky, as I understood, by the President's office, and that it was his function to improve efficiencies at Wanky, and with this, with this in mind, was it possible that we could meet? I was dealing with some matters on the farm uh, at, at Shangani, uh, and on the farm we don't have cell phone signal, um, and so uh, uh, um, I, I believe it would have been the Monday and the Tuesday before the Wednesday of that meeting, I was on the farm, and on the Tuesday I received uh, uh, many messages uh, to say that uh, Shepherd Dundia was very anxious to meet me um, and please could I make contact with him. So um, I went to a high, high spot on the farm and I telephoned Mr. Dundia and he said to me that uh, uh, he needed to speak to me very, very urgently about this contract in Wanky uh, and where was I? I said I was on the farm. Uh, he said could he meet me in Shangani? where we have a, a, a workshop and an office. I said, yes, no problem. And I traveled to, 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 Shangani, uh, to Shangani and met him. It was about, it's about half past two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, that would have been the Wednesday. Um, uh, I, I was, uh, uh, um, Wednesday, I believe, the 15th of September, of, of, of November. Um, uh, Mr. Tudia said it was very, very important that I meet the, the this, uh, uh, parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Mines uh, because they were going to Wanky the next day. When you speak to Davistan later, he will confirm it would the, the Wanky contract <coughs> was something that we, we would have liked in the long term, but in, in September, October, November last year, it was a contract that would have been very inconvenient for us because the the, the volumes that Mr. Shepherd Dundia had indicated to us needed, that needed to be mined were a far greater quantity than we could have uh, managed with the equipment that we had available and we would have needed to have bought new equipment to do the work because our equipment was, was gainfully and fully employed at Pixton Pierre's gold mine and at Ingezi Platinum mine. Um, and so, so um, we sat there and and uh, and Mr. Tim Mabiswa did most of the talking and you know I was like I said not sure exactly what was happening so I just listened every now and then made a bit of a comment and uh, but I just listened. Uh, was Shepherd Tudia had brought me to Harare and I was meeting to, to meet with the parliamentary portfolio. I mean the very first thing that Honourable Leesford did when he came up was he handed out his business card and his business card you know, indicated that he was the chairman of the parliamentary portfolio on mine. So yes, I, and so far as I was aware, I wasn't meeting them in individually, I was meeting them as introduced to me, uh, as uh, uh, you know, having been introduced by Shepherd Tudia, I was meeting with the parliamentary portfolio.